Good morning, students. In our recent video, we have already completed transformation of sentences continued. Today, I'll be discussing the exercises with you. So please make sure you have your books with you. Take a pencil as well so that you can write the answers there itself. Open to page hundred, page one hundred and eighteen. You have exercise number A that says convert the following simple sentences into compound sentences. See, I've already told you compound sen sentences can be formed by using a conjunction. So it's not that difficult. Let's try the first one, then you'll understand. Seeing the policeman, comma, the thief took to his heels. Took to his heels means he ran off. So the thief saw the policeman and took to his heel. So what I've done is I've removed the comma here and I've written thief saw the policeman and took to his heels. So this is how you'll be changing it. Let's see the second one. He was given a reward for his bravery. So he was given a reward or he was brave. So he was given a he was given a uh, I, reward. Right. He was brave. So he was given a reward. This is how you can put the answer. You must run fast to avoid missing the train. You must run hard or you will miss the train. Okay, just try doing it that way. Use a conjunction and you make it turn it into a compound sentence. Let's see the next one. He joined the Navy at a very young age. So he was very young and joined the Navy. Right? See the fifth one. He was dismissed for his dishonesty. He was dishonest. Therefore, he was dismissed. So he was dismissed. You can, you can uh, use... Uh, any conjunction that you find is suitable. See the next one. Besides calling me names, he also insulted me. So you can change it. He called me names and also insulted me. So, right, he called me names and also insulted me. See the next one. Owing to his high fever, he did not attend the school. So, she had high fever, therefore, or so, she did not attend the school. Right? See the next one. But for the good care of the doctors, the patient would have died. That means the doctor gave the patient good care, otherwise the patient would have died. Right? I have all these answers uh, and I'll do one thing. I'll make a PDF so that uh, after completing your sentences, you can just go through it and check whether you've made, whether you've done it correctly or not, right? See the next one. The, the accident took place due to the carelessness of the driver. So the, the accident took place as the, or because the driver was careless, or you can write the driver was careless, so the accident took place. Right, for all his wealth, he's unhappy, means he has great wealth, however, he's unhappy, he has a lot of wealth, still he's unhappy. You can make it either, either way, right? Both are correct. Come to the exercise number two, he was confused and so he did, could not give the correct answer. Now, they've given you compound sentences. You have to make, turn them into a simple sentence. He was confused and so he could not give the correct answer. Due to confusion, he could not give the correct answer. Right? See the second one. He was down with fever and therefore he was not able to attend school. He was not able to attend school because of fever. Right? Right? We went to Shimla in summer vacations and had a good time there. So, we had a good time in Shimla in the summer vacation. Number four, 
I called at his I called at his house, but he was not there. So I called. I did not find him at his house, or uh, I called, and he was not there. Trust in God and do the right. So with trust in God, you can do the right. You must apologize or you will be dismissed. So you must apologize to escape being dismissed. To escape dismissal is also fine. Run fast, otherwise you'll miss the train. You must run fast to catch the train. Right? Mend it or end it. You must mend it to end it. You must either pay the rent or vacate the house. You must pay the rent to escape from vacating the house. The sun set and the sun set and the birds return to their nest. The sun having set, comma, the birds return to their nest. This is how you'll be doing it. Come to the second part of it. Simple to complex sentences. See the uh, B part. I think, do we have another exercise here? No. Okay, see, change the following simple sentence into complex ones, each containing a noun clause. Means you have to use noun clauses. You remember last time we did the chapter on clauses? So let's see, every here, okay, it says here, the news of the railway disaster near Kolkata, Kolkata filled every hearer with gloom. So every hearer was filled with gloom that the news near Kolkata was of the railway disaster. See the next one, the magistrate declared the accused to be guilty. So the magistrate declared the accused was guilty. He is confident of a success. He is con confident that he would succeed. One man's meat is another man's poison. One man's meat is what is one man's meat is what is another man's poison. It is foolish to study at the cost of one's health. It is foolish that one studies at the cost of one's health. He asked me for the loan of a book. Right? So he asked me that I should give him the loan of a book. That's it. We just have uh, six sentences here. In the next exercise, we just have seven. A See, a rolling stone gathers no moss. A stone that is rolling gathers no moss. Thundering clouds seldom rain. The clouds which thunder or that thunder seldom rains. You can do that. He is not a man of his word. He is not a man who sticks to his words. Right? Okay, we have another exercise. Just see the first one of it. We have to change uh, the following simple sentences into complex one with the adverb clause. Right? That means if you have to learn this chapter, you'll have to go through your clauses chapter again. See, I was, I was astonished to see him laughing at the old man. I was, I was actually, okay, it is given here. I was astonished to see the man laughing. Wait, I was astonished to see him laughing at the old man. I was astonished when I saw him laughing at the old man, right? Having reached the class, the teacher started to test the boys. As soon as the teacher reached the class, comma, she started to test the boys. 
or when the teacher reached the class, comma, she started to test the boys. They were given a warm welcome everywhere. Right? They were given a warm welcome wherever they went. To the great surprise of the public, the bank was closed down. The public was filled with great surprise when the bank was closed down. Right? I'll be sharing these answers with you so that it will be easy for you to do it. Right? I'll do that. These are the sentences. Then we have another exercise on page number 182. Conversion of complex sentences into simple sentences. Again, with the help of a noun clause, adjective clause, and adverb clause. Right? I'm sure we've done that as well. Do we have another exercise after that? Let me check. Okay, we do not have another exercise after that. In fact, let's uh, read it. I think so. We haven't done this part. Conversion of the complex sentences into simple sentences. A complex sentence can be transformed into a simple sentence by changing, by changing a subordinate clause into a word or a phrase bearing the same meaning. Right? A clause can be replaced by a noun or an adjective or an adverb. You remember all, uh, these noun clauses, adverb clauses and adjective clauses? So that is what you need to replace here. Right? See, with the help of a noun clause, it says, this proved that he was innocent. This proved his innocence. I'm sure we've done it once. Right? We've done this whole chapter and I just want you to revise it so that you know how to solve these sentences. Noun clauses are those uh, clauses which works as a noun. And the same goes with the adverb. Adverb clauses are those clauses who actually does the work of what? Um, adverb, adjective clauses, they work as an adjective. So just go through them, they're easy and they're the same chapter that we have done it, done before. Now conversion of compound sentences into complex sentences. So you just have to make sure in the compound, see in compound sentences we use conjunction. We have to remove the conjunction and we have to change it into a complex sentence. Right? I'll help you with it. I'll have to do this chapter. Right? I'll make another video of it, proper uh, video, where I'll be explaining these sentences so that you know how we have to do it. Right? So that is it right now. I'll make another video with the answers. Okay? So just go through it. Thank you.